1980, a 17-year-old girl named Darlis Venby found out that she was pregnant. I was scared, frightened. I was immature. I didn't know what I was going to do. In November of that year, she delivered a baby boy. I really want to see my son. I want to see what he looks like. I want to tell my love him. I can't provide for him. This is the best thing for him. She asked the nurse on duty, a woman named Danella Walters, if she could hold her son to say goodbye. I could have been fired, but I did it because you broke my heart. We shoved her and handed her the baby. I held her while she held her baby. And the whole time she cried, I cried. And she just hit him on his forehead and handed him to me, and I took him out of the room. I've never forgotten it. 20 years later, Danella's daughter, Amanda, brought home a young man she'd been dating named Chad. We had been dating, and Chad had said that, you know, he was adopted. My mother just had saw a picture of Chad when he was a baby, a newborn, and she just looked at him, and it was just a, a godsend. They just, she just, you're, you're that child. You, I mean, you're that child. After months of searching, Chad finally tracked down his birth mother. I see my mom for the first time, and I, I give her this great big hug. Uh, I lay my head down on her shoulder for the first time, uh, not wanting to let go. Just tears coming to my eyes. At that point, uh, there's just a smile on my face all the time. When we met, it was like nobody was there. It was just, it was magical. The two families now have an unbreakable connection. And to this day, Darla and Danella remain close friends. Danella, I always call her my angel. She brought my son to me the first time, and she brought him back to me. Wow. Oh wow. my God. And Darla and Danella's story is just one of the many incredible experiences told in Squire Rushnell's book. It's called Divine Alignment. It's out in paperback now, and it's chock full of stories like this that people incredible. just think are random. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Good to well, see you. Well, think this is, you think this is just random, but you think it's maybe one of those little coincidences, but it isn't. Well, you call them God wings. And they're God wings. How did yes. you come to find the people and the rest of the ones in your book? Very often, they find me. Oh. They read your other because books, right? They are absolutely absolutely divinely aligned to these stories. People call, you know, write to me every day on Facebook slash Godwinks and leave their Godwink stories there. But, um, but very often I am divinely aligned to the stories uh, for the book that I'm about to write. Uh -huh. That's amazing. You're yeah. just, you're in that right place yeah. to receive it. Yeah. Are all these things happening around us all the time? We just don't have the eyes to see them. Well, here's how divine alignment works. We go through life thinking that we're on the fast track, helter skelter, everything is just unfolding. Rushing, rushing. But we are in fact being divinely aligned by a built-in GPS. Uh -huh. And what I talk about in this book are the seven steps to help you navigate through life with divine alignment. And the GPS is what I call God's positioning system. Well, and when you come in contact with someone, some people do and say, wow, and then they move on with their life. They yeah. don't do anything with the moment. It doesn't change It them. doesn't right. change the, but yeah. you should do more than you just say, to, here we are. You need to acknowledge them. In fact, I encourage people to just make a list of the God winks and the divine alignments, put it on a piece of paper on the refrigerator door. At the end of the month, you'll be astonished with how many times how you've, you've had these you know, little experiences. It's funny, my brother and I were on some hiking trip when we were, yet, when we were just just out of college, we were kids, and we were in Bruges in Belgium, in, Belgium. in a tiny like farm town. We were walking because we missed our bus, literally walking. We went to some youth hostel, and I'll never forget it. I'm walking down the stairs, and I see a camp counselor from so many years ago, and it seemed, wow. I looked, we're in the middle of nowhere. I go, <laughs> what are you doing there? But I remembered thinking to myself, like, this how couldn't. did this happen in yes. the middle of nowhere? I'm sure yeah. everyone has a story yeah. like that. Different as <laughs> night and day. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about that. Everybody has a story. That's right. right. <laughs> so um, how many stories are in this book? I remember reading it when it first came out in hard book, but there's at I least think, ten. Uh, well, there's a lot. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. Uh, there's a lot. Just amazing stories. And, and the thing about these stories is that they give us encouragement. They give us hope, they which is what hope. we need. And, need. And, and, I, and I really believe that if we start understanding the God winks, the divine alignment that is happening. And being open that, to it. And open to seeing to it. it. Yeah. And, well, you can't. Ex you, you don't know they're there unless you accept them. Yeah. And we're not talking about religion here, no, are no, we? No, no, no. But once you understand this, 
uh, you will realize that you are on a pathway to more joy. It's yeah. exciting. An adventure. And it's yeah. an adventure. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. The uncertainty turns into certainty, yeah. and you'll just have much more happiness in your life. Isn't he full of hey, happiness? Hey, I knew Squire like Wynn. <laughs> back in the day, me, he is way telling way back. Way, way, oh, way, yeah. way back. <laughs> and you would never even recognize wow. the man you were and the man you wow. are today. Congratulations, really? yeah. Squire. Yeah. My hair is a little. <laughs> Silver. You've earned every one of them, yes, baby. You have. <laughs> and he's married to the single funniest woman on the planet, oh. Louise Duarte. All right, yeah. love Thank you, sweetheart. Thank All the best with the book. Take All right. Out Game now. of Who Knew? It's going to make your Memorial oh, Day memorable. No, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She's got to go across the street. I get to stay here. <laughs> 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 no.